Morning guys, today is Tuesday. I'm out in the garden. Uh, here's the butterfly garden, it's looking pretty good. And the main garden's looking pretty decent back there. But right so, now I'm trying to, I have prices on my board and I figured this out, kind of like rough estimate on my prices. And we make good money doing aeration and seed, but I want to get it down to precisely, like that we make, I want to make my numbers more precise. Like I'm figuring out, how far we travel to Asheville and Mills River, that'll be the two general areas. Um, how much it costs in gas to drive to a residence in Mills River or Asheville, because I'm gonna put two different prices for the service areas because one's 15 miles more of driving. So we wanna get it down to that. What the seed costs per thousand square foot to put down. Um, everything all the way down and right now I'm about to test how long it takes me because I've never really done this part of it but and I'll give you the prices on what we charge for uh, our basic aeration seed and fertilizer but I'm going to show you the area because I have a perfect how test pretty the flowers are it's turned out pretty good the girls got to put all their things in it now so my perfect test area, I just measured it out, is 5,000 square feet right here. And that's where my base prices start. If there, I have a, a minimum price on uh, 5,000 square foot. If it's 800 square foot, it's the same as 5,000 square foot. Um, just because that's how I did my numbers. And most lawns, I don't have anybody that's really that small. So this area, all here, is 5,000 square foot. Just right up to where you see the sticks there across so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set up the fertilizer uh set get my spreader over there and i'm gonna simulate me getting a bag of seed putting it in there because i want to get a rough estimate on how long it takes me to um fertilize or seed the front yard here 5,000 square feet. then i'm going to figure out how long it would take me to drive the 10 miles round trip um to a client's house and i'm going to add that with how long it takes me to see the 5,000 square foot, and that's where I'm gonna get my base and how much we're gonna charge for 5,000 square foot of aeration, or for a seed. And then we'll do the same thing for aeration, fertilization, and everybody all over the country is, I mean, they're gonna be at different price levels. I know that, but the, the variation shouldn't be too, I mean, shouldn't be that much off compared to other people. I mean, I don't know if you guys down south do aeration and seed, but we do up here with the cool season grasses. Um, and then in the north, way up in the north, you guys might be a little different too. Um, I think you probably aerate and seed up there too. It's cool season grass. So let me figure out how long this is going to take me so to I'm do. back out here, guys. Obviously, you can see I'm still home. It's still misting out. Um, if you can see behind me a little bit, you see the tracks in the lawn. So what I did in the lawn here is I went and figured out how long it would take to spread this 5,000 square foot of, of fertilizer, either fertilizer, seed, um, pretty much anything that you're going to spread in a hopper. And I did it at my rate that I do. And then... So guys, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Carl from Happy's Family. Um, Rachel is the boss. She's part of our operation. Most of you guys already know that are subscribed to us. Um, but this is a video for aerations for anybody who's not subscribed and whoever is just to give an idea of what we charge to aerate and seed a lawn and fertilize a lawn in the fall to renovate it all. So I'm in the process of refiguring all my prices out before we put all our quotes out. And my fertilizer is about the same some some areas are a little lower in my higher end uh my higher acreage properties um and then my lower ones are about about the same still around the same so it didn't change much i just broke it down and how long it takes me to fertilize how long it takes me to drive there all the way down to the basics and how much we want to make an hour well i'm going to do that with um aeration so what i'm going to do is aerate the front here which is 5,000 square feet. so what i'm doing out here is to show you guys how to aerate and seed a lawn or how we aerate and seed a lawn how we renovate a cool season grass like fescue um we're here in western north carolina zone 7a i think it is yeah definitely 7a um and we're going to use the toro to aerate this and i'm going to time how long it takes me to aerate 5,000 square feet I'm gonna explain how to do it um, and what the best practices we've used and learned are. Now, first off, when you aerate, you wanna make sure the grass is mowed low. So we are gonna use the Z3X to mow this. 
Oh, that's the ducks quacking. Um, we're gonna use Z3X to mow this 61 inch, 37 horsepower mower. Um, I'm gonna do a time lapse of that because most of you have already seen us mow our front yard and I'm not making this about mowing. So I'll do a time lapse of mowing that. Then I'm gonna break down how we aerate a lawn, what we use as practices to make it look good and turn out better. Um, and everything we do in the whole process of it. But for now, I'm gonna figure out how long it's gonna take me to do 5,000 square feet. I've never timed it. Um, this is what a stand-on Toro 30 inch, and I'll explain the aerator. 30 inch Toro aerator, stand-on. It has, it's a FS541V. I'm not sure the exact horsepower rating on this uh, engine itself. Um, very, really nice machine if you want to get things done faster. And yes, we do have hilly areas, so we have to use a walk behind too. And we rent that one. We decided to buy this because it was worth it for us when we're doing 40 or 50 aerations a year. Our goal is 50 this year. So it is a um, core aerator. That is the best to use a core aerator because you would like to plug the ground, pull plugs out of the ground so nutrients can get into it. Um, I will go over how we use this machine and how it's made things a lot better and faster for us. Okay, here's your aerator. This is um, this is your Toro aerator, 30 inch core aerator. So this is tells you you take your foot times off. So anytime you're driving, you don't want to leave the foot times on because you could step on this and then you, you'd be going over concrete and stuff. This right here adjusts your pressure. When the ground is really, really dry, you want to be somewhere between three and 400. If you have to go a little higher, you can try a little higher. You want to generally pull out inch and a half to two inch cores. If your ground is wet and you've gotten a lot of rain um, and you can still aerate, we'll find out if we can today with all the rain we've got, we had gotten already. Um, you want to be around 150 to 200. So you want to do a pass and see if you're uh, pulling the right depth cores out. And then you turn it clockwise to get it to go more pressure. And then back this way if you want to release some of the pressure. This is how you start the machine. You can have the foot pedal off. You should. And then you just choke it up. And then you turn the case. And choke it back down. There you go. And this aerator has 28.8 at 28.8 hours on it. We just bought this one last year. Um, so there you go. There's the basics on it. And you want to be in full throttle when you do it. So that was how you turn the machine on. Choke it up. And I'm only going to move it out of the way so I can mow the grass here. So. To move the machine forward, you pull the brake up. I don't like this brake, I wish I had a handle brake. And then you put the throttle up, guys, and here's your lever. So look, I'm gonna set my Ferris up to we're gonna do three and three quarters first here. And I'm gonna run a pass and see how short it gets. I'd like to be down to three before we aerate, but it's wet. Okay, so now I'm gonna mow this with the beast. That's what we call her, the Ferris for all our new subscribers. And Rachel mows all the time with the Ferris, with the beast. So as you can see, I didn't get it all the way down to three inches. This is the lowest I think I've cut my lawn. Um, right now it's at three and a half, maybe three and a quarter, according to the mower that I just mowed. So that's why it kind of looks sloppy. And the fact that it was wet, you can see there's definitely clumps on the grass. Um, yeah, see? So, I mean, I might just blow it off because I don't want it to look like crap, but once I aerate it, it's gonna look like crap anyway. So. Let me blow this off and then I'm going to go ahead and um, show you guys how to aerate the lawn. So what I'm going to do is show you how to cross core aerate. So cross core aerates, and I'll show you on, on the ground real quick. I'll mark it out for you, but you'll see it in the video of me, uh, me cross core aerate in this yard right here. See the ground is pretty wet, pretty moist. So your best bet is 
if you get on here and I'll and you uh, set your pressure up and then you want to push on the foot pedal down here give it a little throttle right now we're at 200 and this would be 300 pounds so that's 300 pounds if the ground's really hard you turn this clockwise and look you can go all the way up to six seven hundred pounds but I would not suggest doing that um, the highest you want to be is around 400 but if it's really soft you want to definitely be around 250 200 or under so let me go ahead and show you how to do this show you by drawing this out with a stick in the dirt <laughs> so this is your grid you're doing guys say you have a grid and this is 5,000 square feet you aerate you come say you're going this way right and then you want to go back turn around go up that way back turn around up that way back up that way you get the gist all the way and then you want to start going back this way and back this way and back this way a grid pattern so that's cross core aeration guys um that gives you your best coverage um some people only do one pass we call it two pass cross core Honestly, it's the best way to do it. It takes a little more time and right now I'm going to set it up and you'll see me do it um, Aerate the whole lawn. I'm going to go and do it cross core And then I'll explain you what you do after you're done aerating the lawn as far as seed and fertilizer goes um, But I'll set you guys up and I got to time this because I'm going to figure out my prices on all this And then I'm going to put them at the towards the end of the video I'm going to give you all my prices for aeration fertilizer um and seed and you might be different compared to price we pay about ninety dollars a bag for your tall fescue down here um and then the fertilizer we pay anywhere from 20 to 25 dollars a bag depending on where you get it i can get it for 18. um i'm probably going to use site one for everything maybe we'll we'll see i haven't decided on that definitely the seed i've had good results with site one seed um i don't go in any of box stores i go right to site one and get everything but it is a little more expensive seed so and your fertilizer like i said i pay between 18 and 25 dollars a bag now my iron fertilizer for august i pay 30 a bag but i broke down all the prices according to what the cost of fertilizer is the gas to drive to the jobs um pretty much everything i put the gas to drive to the job the fertilizer um, and then whatever it takes me to spread 5,000 square foot of fertilizer. I figured that out this morning by pushing my yard um, So we're gonna figure out aeration now and then give you guys a baseline and prices now Everybody's different our area is a little bit more difficult with terrain. We might sometimes have to use two aerators I rent a walk behind one so but let me get So if you see, that's the size core I'm pulling out. I want to go a little deeper with my cores. I'd like them to be the length of my, almost the length of my finger. So what I'll do is I'll go down more in pressure. I'm going to tack it up to about 300 pounds and see where that brings me. So another thing I wanted to let you guys know, let up on the foot pedal when you're turning these machines, especially this one, um, or you'll stretch the chains and mess up the uh, sprocket area. 
always take your foot off the pedal, let the tines come up to turn. This isn't one that you can just turn with the radius or you will mess the ground, uh, the lawn up and you will mess up your aerator, especially if you're renting them guys because you don't want to mess them up for other people that go use them. go oh, look that's what a cross core aeration looks like see all the little plugs everywhere guys you should be if you're offering aeration doing it cross core um don't do one pass aeration it's not um it doesn't do as good as the uh the two pass the crossing it and don't just wheel around the yard aimlessly try to stay in a pattern um that does make a difference so you don't miss any spots so there you've seen we cross core aerated um, both directions with the Toro 30 inch um, Next step would be I would put down a seed which is a um, Fescue blend you always want to use a blend of fescue in case some gets disease and I put down six pounds per thousand square feet So all these prices are figured out for six pounds per thousand square foot and a 50 pound bag of fertilizer to do 10,000 square feet, so I think that is uh, five pounds per thousand square foot with the fertilizer that I'm putting down. Um, everybody else does different. You should soil test all your clients. Um, we're doing that in the springtime to see how that everything looks. Um, you can get them free, but that's for aeration, seed, and fertilizer. So these prices have been figured in it. Um, for the aeration, it's going to be time plus time to drive to the job and back from the job. So you guys figure out what that is for you guys. Um, so when you're doing aeration, it's pretty much that's what it is. Your time to drive there, your time to do the job. When it comes to the fertilizer, I figured out the cost of the fertilizer, which my seed cost here. Would, so I figured out my seed cost is ten dollars and ninety two cents for a thousand square foot at six pounds per thousand. Um, so that's what I figured out. And then on top of the seed price, I put the time that it takes to spread it. So for me to spread a 5,000 square foot lawn with um, a regular rotary hopper, it takes me about 10 minutes to do a 5,000 square foot lawn. I think I figured it out about eight minutes pushing it. And then you figure time to get the seed out and stuff like that. So 10 minutes generally. And then every thousand square foot from there, I just added two minutes each time now as far as the, um, that was seed as far as the fertilizer goes i'm at about two dollars and fifty cents per thousand square foot for cost of material for the fertilizer so then i have to add my time to spread the fertilizer which again for five thousand square foot is roughly 10 minutes um plus the drive time to get there and then you time that by your hour hourly rate and that's what you get for your um fertilizer so i covered fertilizer seed lime all i did with my lime prices is add ten dollars to every all my fertilizer prices so if it's 67 or if it's 57 dollars to do 5,000 square foot with fertilizer 
it's 67 to do the lime. Um, it cost me a little more. I didn't break that down exactly in price because we don't do much of the lime. I mean, we do it once a year. Um, and then what else did I not cover in that? I think I covered the aeration, the seed, the fertilizer. So um, I'll go ahead and, oh, and I added $3. And what I figured out is Mills River area and around here, my furthest, I put 10 miles round trip to each job to figure out my gas, which I get 11 miles per gallon. So it's $3.50 for, because I use premium. It's $3.50 for every 10 miles. And then to go to Asheville, and here's the kicker, to go to Asheville to fertilize, aerate, and seed, my prices are about so say if it costs um, $57 to do a 5,000 square foot here in Mills River. In Asheville, it is $67, $72. And somebody, people will be like, well, wait a second. Why is the same price one? Because I have to drive 25 miles round trip there and back. And that's not, I mean, it's more like 35 miles. But I figured out 25 miles round trip. So it has to have a $15 charge on it, guys. Gas is $3 a gallon. And you go figure. So I add a, um, so I add a charge on that, and the time to get there too. That's why it's like normally it would just be seven dollars because it's double what I do down here. But because of time to drive up there, you have to add that into your prices as well. Hopefully this ain't too long a video. I'm trying to get everything possible in. Um, remember the prices will be in there after this. I'll explain them. Um, and remember with the aerator, the stand-ons, especially the Toro, the X. And X mark uh, uh, aerators because they're the same pretty much. Let off the foot pedal when you're going. You don't want to turn that machine with the tines down or you're going to ruin your machine and stretch the chains out. So if I think of anything else, I'll let you guys know. So hopefully this was a good video and hopefully it helped you out and hopefully my prices didn't offend anybody. But it's just a baseline, guys. I'm putting it all out there. So. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, be happy. And if you guys need us to explain any more pricing on things, I think we're going to break some things down more and more as we go because everybody should be around in the same general area, give or take five, fifteen dollars here and there. But you could have people in my area charging a hundred dollars to aerate a lawn, all the way up to two hundred dollars to aerate that same lawn. So you see what I mean. I might be a little more on the higher side, but we, we thoroughly do everything. We definitely cross core and we try to get every inch that we can. So that way we're making our clients happy. So I think I covered everything. So, oh, and you want to use a starter fertilizer when you're aerating in seed. And if you're in zone 7A, shoot for anywhere between September 15th all the way until October, probably 10th, you're good. I think we aerated right up to GIE last year. Okay, guys, I'm going to get out of here and keep watching and you'll see the price. I forgot one more thing for homeowners or lawn guys. Make sure you tell your clients they do not have to pick up all the cores. And if you're doing it as a professional, you should know you shouldn't be picking up all the cores. They break down. They go back into the ground. The purpose so. of aeration is to put holes in the ground, of course, pull cores out so your nutrients and stuff and air can get down to the roots and give you a better, healthier lawn. And you should aerate every year, every year. Don't skip a year. It makes a difference. We have clients that do skip a year and the lawns don't look as good because what happens if that year you skipped, we had a horrendous year, people who aerated and seeded, their lawns won't take as much of a hit as people who haven't aerated and seeded and lost seed lost grass the year before and that year so just to let you guys know a tip so i'm gonna go ahead and go in so guys you've seen the aeration video um look it's a nice day out today I'm gonna go mo 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 today but you've seen me aerate the lawn last week in the aeration video right now i figured out my prices i'm gonna put them in the end of the well you guys are at the end of the video so Keep in mind, these are my prices for Western North Carolina. Some of you guys might be different. Some of you guys might be less. Some of you guys might be more. Just give me a little feedback on uh, how close I am with you guys on prices. Um, I tried to figure everything out to the T and they came in the same as last year's prices almost, just a little bit higher with my new figure. And look, yesterday I was doing a flower bed uh, mulch install and I was weed eating all the weeds and I'm not sure what I got into but it burnt my skin, uh, burnt my arms, all my skin on my arms. It was some kind of weed, but it didn't spread, so. Okay, let me show you these prices real quick, because then I gotta get Chase off the school. 
So hopefully the lighting's all right. I wish I had a whiteboard to write everything on and show you, but here you go. Here's the prices we charge for aeration and seed and fertilizer. So for square foot, you got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up to 25,000 square feet. And this is the price for fertilizer for 5,000, 6,000, so on. You guys get the gist. And then you have my prices for seed. And keep in mind, we pay about $90 a bag and it does 12, uh, one bag does 8,000 square foot because I do six pounds, about 8,000 because I do six pounds per thousand square foot. Um, but here you go, 5,000 is 100, 112 for six, 125, so on down. So I hope you guys can get this. Just pause the video if you want to see prices. Nobody ever did prices for me. Like there wasn't videos 10 years ago on prices on aeration and everything. And not many people put their prices out there. I'm not sure why. I mean, I'm not afraid that somebody's going to underbid me. We have so much available work around here and if you do a good job you shouldn't have to worry about that 90 percent of the time then our aeration is 100 110 22 36 41 for 9,000 153 for 10,000 and this is what a stand on aerator you might be a little more if you have just a walk behind aerator because of time um but that's up to you guys so but here's my prices for so on 25,000 square foot would be 312. And we do have one property that's 38,000 square foot. And we get a good amount of money to do that property for seed and everything. So I hope that helped you guys a little bit at least. But there you go. Let me just sit here and you guys can pause the video and get your prices. Thanks for watching again, guys.